Before we do the multiple choice questions, I want to talk about what we expect on the multiple choice section of the AP Physics B exam. You will have 90 minutes to answer 70 multiple choice questions. So that's about one minute a question. And you can have more time for the harder ones. I know this is not a lot of time, so some practice can help. Also, during the multiple choice section, you do not get to use the calculator or the equation sheet, although a constant sheet will be provided. The constant sheet gives you things like g equals 9.8 meters per second squared, sine 37 degrees is 3 fifths, etc. Although by now you probably have already memorized the g value. Now, you may wish to review the kinematics unit a bit if you don't think you are ready to put away your notes and the calculator. Are you ready for the first question? Let's look at the first one. For t equals to 2 to 4 seconds, the average speed is 1 meter a second. For 2 to 4 seconds, the average speed is the distance traveled divided by the time. Now, in this case, the object is moving along an x-axis, just one-dimensional motion, and from 2 to 4 seconds, the object moves from x equals to 9 to x equals to 6, so it goes from 9 to 6. There's no zigzagging, no curving around, so the, dis the distance traveled is the amount of the displacement. The displacement from si 9 to 6 is negative 3, but the distance traveled is only 3. The time, 2 to 4 seconds, that would be 2 seconds. So this is uh, 3 halves meters per second. So that one is wrong. Um, the question gives you 1 meter per second because some people would say the displacement is 1 block. The time is also 1 block. Therefore, 1 block divided by 1 block and you get 1 meter per second. But that's not, of course, not how you do it because uh, we do not look at the number of blocks. We look at the labels to see what the delta x is, what a delta t is, not the number of blocks. Now let's see number 2. For t equals to 0 to 8 seconds, the object's velocity is in the negative x direction. Now the velocity is the slope of the position versus time graph. The slope is negative, that means the velocity is negative, so number 2 is right. For t equals to 0 to 8 seconds, the object is speeding up. Now let's see. Again, the speed is the magnitude of the velocity, so the speed depend on the slope. Now speed is the magnitude of the slope. So since we only care about the magnitude of the slope, we just have to look at the graph to see how steep it is. It starts out steep and then gets less and less steep. That means uh, the magnitude of the slope is decreasing. So the object is not speeding up, it is uh, slowing down. So number three is wrong. Another way to do number three is uh, you can look at the graph. The slope tells you that the velocity is negative. The position versus time graph is an upward curve. Therefore, the acceleration is positive. If acceleration and the velocity, they have different signs, that means uh, they are in opposite directions. If they are in opposite directions, that means the object is uh, slowing down. So the answer is 2 only. The answer is A. Now this problem talks about t equals to 0 to 1 and 1 to 2. So let's say the time starts at 0, 1 second, 2 seconds. This the 2 second. This is the the first second. This is the second second. 
So if you look at the distance traveled, it says the first second the distance traveled is d, and we want to find the distance traveled in the second second. We want to relate distance traveled to the time, which means the displacement to the time. So this equation can be convenient. Delta x equals to VOT plus 1 half AT squared. The object starting from rest, so initial velocity is zero. And let's see, one half is a constant, acceleration is a constant. That means delta x is proportional to t squared. So if you if you compare t equals to one and t equals to two, when the time doubles the displacement with a quadruple. So this is a, if this is d. At t equals to 2, the displacement would be 4 times the d. But then at t equals to 2, the displacement is this one, that is 4d. Uh, so what do you think this one is? It must be 4d minus d, so it's 3d. So the answer is uh, c. This one is tricky, right?